Hello guys, so today's video is coming uh, due to a question I got in one of my emails uh, asking about how can I spend money from my paper wallet. Now I did a tutorial about I think several months ago about how to create a secure paper wallet so I'm not going to go over it again. Just in a short sentence, a paper wallet is something like this. It's a physical way of storing your Bitcoin which basically means that you'll have this side uh, which is your public address to kind of load the paper wallet with Bitcoins and this side here is your private key which you shouldn't expose to anyone so you shouldn't be doing what I'm doing right now which is uploading this to YouTube but this wallet is empty, it doesn't have anything so I don't uh, mind showing this to you and here you can see there's a, a very long string of characters which is your private key up here this is your public key this the long string of characters here so this is what's called cold storage basically putting your bitcoins in a place that's not connected to the internet the only way that someone can steal your bitcoins if you upload them to this wallet, this address is by actually stealing this piece of paper or writing this private key down. Now, loading Bitcoins to this address is pretty easy because you just either use this QR code or just use this public Bitcoin address. The problem comes when you want to spend these Bitcoins. How can you do this? So I'm going to show one quick example. The basic idea is what you need to do is you need to import the private key into a desktop client. So I'm going to use uh, Bitcoin Core for this example. So here you have, uh, this is an out of sync uh, um, version of Bitcoin Core because I just installed it. I don't usually use this on my desktop. But here's how you do it in Bitcoin Core. You go to help and then to the debug window. And here in the debug window, one second, here it is. Under console, you just write import PRIV key and enter your private key. You basically enter this really long string of numbers of lower and uppercase letters, so it would be something like this, and so on and so on, five and and all of the private keys. Hit enter, and basically the bitcoins will be uploaded into this wallet. Now, what you need to remember is that once you upload uh, bitcoins into a, a a desktop client, you can throw this away. The bitcoins are not going to be even if you only spend, for example, just let's say I had 100 bitcoins here, and I upload this to the desktop client and I spend only one Bitcoin. It's not like the 99 Bitcoin change is going to come back here. It's going to come to a whole new different address which is going to be on my desktop client. So basically once you import it, there's no way to just spend half of the paper wallet. You have to import all of the Bitcoins and then they're moved on to the next wallet whether it's a mobile wallet or desktop wallet or whatever that will be. Um, so that was a short tutorial about how to import your private key Bitcoins onto a desktop client. You can do this with uh, many other uh, clients. For example, I know that uh, um, there's, uh, I'll give you one more short example before we leave. So for example, this is Multibit. If you want to import private keys here, you have to basically import it from a file. Um, I didn't find a way actually to, to type in the private key. You have to, to import it from a file, so that would be a bit different than what I showed right now. Each client has its own way of doing this. This is just one way I showed you. And, but remember the basic concept of finding your private key and importing it into the new client. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and I'll see you in the next one.